So this term, Frankfurt plane, is actually used in the field of height measurement. You would actually supposedly stand like this, with your head a little bit tilted upward, so that you could actually appear more normal, and that you have pretty normal posture outside of height measurement. When measuring your height, it's more accurate, I think, judging from a couple of videos I've seen representing this posture. If you did have your head under the machine, you had it like this, you can't really be felt, right? You're not really feeling the machine too much. You're not feeling it, per se. But what you're gonna see now is a Frankfurt plane in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and level my head so it's approximate. We get the height. Trust me, because on my head, I don't need to raise it up and do it again. And before I reveal it, my head might not represent as like totally normal outside of height measurement, like I said, but it definitely means more accurate than when you're standing like this, because you're not, like I said, you're not touching the head really much. So it's important to stand with your head like this so you get your most accurate measurements. And notice that my bottom of my eye socket and my ear are approximately the same. So they're about good, just like Rob Paul's videos. If you've seen Rob Paul, kudos to you. He's an awesome Scottish height YouTuber, and he does similar content. So if we touch that and push it down, it's touching my head. We get some good. It's gonna be a couple millimeters under just because I've been doing some physical activity and I uh, had room for error or room for loss. And there we see I got like five, eight, and seven eighths. And that's my real height, so basically I'm gonna be rounding up when someone asks 5'9", I mean technically it is, but within an eighth inch deviation. But I'm also gonna be saying my exact height, 5'8 and 7 eighths. It's a personal thing, I want to do it. There's some people like Rob Paul who say their exact height, and I don't need to go into further detail. Rob says 5'8 and 3 eighths, and I say 5'8 and 7 eighths, like literally 3 quarters of an inch or so at worst taller than him. So we have our personal choices. I know it's ideal to round up on like license cards or you know like that. Um, but I just find that saying your exact height, there are some people who do that. Like my cousin, I would assume Chris, uh, he does that as well. And it just makes it more believable. I like to say the exact height. It's more truthful.